The universe is vast. We have explored planets, stars, and galaxies. The past is not a distant country. It is a mirror that reflects our own times. The history of the Silk Roads is the history of the world, but our journey of discovery doesn't end there. It also extends to the exploration of our own planet, its history, and the intricate connections that have shaped humanity. In his captivating history, nonfiction, politics, world history book, The Silk Roads, A New History of the World, published in 2015, historian Peter Frankopan takes us on an extraordinary journey through time and space. He unveils the secrets of the Silk Roads, ancient trade routes that were much more than just passages for silk. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. These roots were the arteries of our world. They carried not just goods, but also ideas, religions, and cultures. They were the lifeblood of globalization centuries before the term was even coined. Frankopan's book is not just a history book, it's a paradigm shift. It challenges the Eurocentric view of history that has dominated our understanding of the past. He urges us to look beyond the familiar narratives and embrace a more global perspective. The Silk Roads, he argues, were not merely peripheral to world history. They were at its very center, shaping the destinies of empires and the course of civilization itself. For centuries, history books have focused on Europe as the center of the world. We've been taught that the Renaissance, the Enlightenment, and the Industrial Revolution were uniquely European phenomena. Frankopan challenges this view, arguing that these developments were, in fact, the culmination of centuries of exchange and interaction along the Silk Roads. The heart of the world, he argues, was not in Europe, but in the East. It was in the bustling cities of Central Asia, the Persian Empire, and the Indian subcontinent. These were the centers of trade, innovation, and cultural exchange. The Silk Roads, Frankopan reminds us, were not a single road, but a complex network of routes. These routes stretched from the shores of the Mediterranean Sea in the west to the Pacific Ocean in the east. They connected the great empires of the world the Roman Empire, the Persian Empire, the Indian Empires, and the Chinese dynasties. This interconnectedness, Frankopan argues, was the defining feature of the Silk Roads. It was through this network of routes that goods, ideas, and people flowed freely, shaping the world as we know it. The story of the Silk Roads is a story of empires. It's a story of the rise and fall of great powers, of wars and conquests, and of the enduring legacy of cultural exchange. The Persians, under rulers like Cyrus the Great and Darius I, were masters of infrastructure. They built roads, bridges, and caravanserai, roadside inns. These projects facilitated trade and communication across their vast territories. The rise of the Roman Empire further fueled the growth of the Silk Roads. The Romans had a voracious appetite for luxury goods from the east. This demand created a lucrative trade route from Constantinople to Chang'an. The Silk Roads witnessed the exchange of not just goods, but also ideas. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Silk Roads is the role they played in the spread of religions. Buddhism, which originated in India, spread eastward along the Silk Roads to Central Asia, China, Korea, and Japan. Buddhist monks traveled with merchants and traders, carrying with them their scriptures and teachings. They established monasteries along the Silk Roads, which served as centers of learning and spiritual practice. These monasteries became important nodes in a vast network of Buddhist institutions that stretched across Asia. Christianity, too, found fertile ground along the Silk Roads. Christianity spread eastward from the Roman Empire, reaching as far as India and China. Nestorian Christianity, in particular, gained a foothold in Central Asia and China. The Silk Roads, in this way, became a melting pot of faiths. They facilitated the interaction and exchange between different religions, leading to the development of syncretic beliefs and practices. The Silk Roads remind us that religions are not static entities, they are constantly evolving and adapting to new cultural contexts. A network of influences. The Silk Roads were more than just trade routes, they were conduits of cultural exchange. As merchants and travelers journeyed along these routes, they carried with them their languages, customs, and beliefs. This led to a vibrant fusion of cultures along the Silk Roads. One of the most striking examples of this cultural fusion is the spread of artistic motifs and techniques. Persian influences, for example, can be seen in Chinese ceramics and textiles. Indian textiles with their vibrant colors and intricate patterns were highly prized in the Roman Empire. The Silk Roads, in essence, facilitated a cross-pollination of artistic ideas. 
This cultural exchange was not always harmonious. There were conflicts and misunderstandings. However, the Silk Roads, for the most part, fostered a spirit of tolerance and cosmopolitanism. People from different cultures learned to live and work together, exchanging ideas and adapting to one another's customs. Shifting Sands of Power, the Rise and Fall of Empires The Silk Roads witnessed the rise and fall of empires. Under Genghis Khan, the Mongol Empire shaped the Silk Roads. Fierce warriors and pragmatic rulers, they revived the Silk Roads, establishing relay stations. This facilitated the movement of goods and people. The Pax Mongolica led to a trade resurgence. Fragmentation led to a decline in trade and security. European maritime routes further diminished the Silk Roads, yet they continued as regional trade routes. The legacy is about the enduring power of interconnectedness. A Golden Age of Exchange The medieval period is often portrayed as a dark age in European history, a time of intellectual stagnation and decline. Francopan challenges this view, arguing that the medieval period was in fact a time of great intellectual ferment and cultural exchange. The Islamic Golden Age, which flourished from the 8th to the 13th centuries, was a testament to this intellectual vibrancy. Islamic scholars made groundbreaking advances in mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and philosophy. These advancements were transmitted to Europe through the Silk Roads, particularly through Muslim-controlled Spain. The Silk Roads also played a crucial role in the transmission of knowledge from the East. Chinese innovations such as gunpowder, papermaking, and the compass found their way to Europe through the Silk Roads, paving the way for the Renaissance and the Scientific Revolution. The medieval period, far from being a dark age, was a time when the seeds of modernity were sown. The Silk Roads in the 21st century. The Silk Roads may seem like a relic of the past, but as Francopan convincingly argues, they are more relevant than ever. In the 21st century, we are witnessing a resurgence of interest in the Silk Roads. China's Belt and Road Initiative, a massive infrastructure project aimed at connecting Asia, Europe, and Africa, is often seen as a modern-day Silk Road. This initiative, if successful, has the potential to reshape global trade patterns and geopolitical alliances. The Silk Roads, however, are not just about economics. They are also about cultural exchange and understanding. In an increasingly interconnected world, it is more important than ever to understand the historical and cultural ties that bind us together. The Silk Roads remind us that globalization is not a new phenomenon. It is a process that has been shaping our world for centuries. By understanding the history of the Silk Roads, we can better navigate the complexities of our interconnected world. The Silk Roads, A New History of the World, is a journey through time and space. Francopan's book reminds us that we are all interconnected. Our destinies are intertwined. What happens in one part of the world affects us all. The Silk Roads, with their legacy of trade and cultural exchange, highlight this truth. As we face global challenges, we should remember the lessons of the Silk Roads. Embracing cooperation and understanding can build a sustainable future. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.